Okay, guys, I think as far as D2L being useful for writing classes, there's a thing that I find it's good for some things, it organizes things really well, but writing is this process where you're bringing in lots of things from lots of different places, and that doesn't get conveyed very well in this very linear ordered uh, software. So that's what this video is about, how you're going to use the resources I give you to pull in from various places to create your second paper. So I gave you, you'll find them in the module, uh, two, two uh, sample model proposals. I think one is better than the other, but um, not really. I mean, that's just my bias. And the thing, so these are proposals, sample, proposals. And do not think you have to do everything that's listed in there, like, oh my god, they ask for diagrams, they ask for all this stuff. Just skip the things that don't seem appropriate for your particular proposal. Just sort of grab. Um, and so one of them, well, I'll just say B, I find more useful. It's longer, it's more detailed, but um, I just ignore half of it maybe even three quarters of it and just pull out the stuff that I want. And let's label this part in the middle workspace. So this is like your Google Doc where you will create your paper. So one of the things you're going to do is you're going to pull pieces from this proposal and use it to create your paper. Maybe you'll choose like one thing from this one. That's why I'm making a smaller arrow. And then a, like most of it from this one. But that's not the only thing. I also give you a lot of research uh, websites uh, that you can use. So for example, I think I give you three, and you, don't, you can use more than what I give you. These are just like to get you started. So they're there in the module as well. I can't separate them out. They're all listed, but the proposals are over here and the, the research is over here. In my mind, not in the module. So I give you um, a website called The Counted, which lists by state all the people who died in dealing with the police in not last year, I think it's 2015. I can't remember if, I think 2016, 2015, they have two years. And so you can do a little research like how many people in Arizona died um, who were not armed and who were Native American. And it can break it all down for you so it's good for research. And then there's this website that's really good for solutions, but they offer every possible, they have like 10 different areas of solutions. And you're not gonna be able to write about all those things and you should choose from this website one or two things that you think are the most relevant for the police proposal that you wanna write. So um, let's say that you thought body cameras were an essential solution for the problem. And so then you'd focus on the body cam part of this website and think about it. Or maybe they have something, they have a section on community policing and you could just focus on that or you could do body cams and community policing if you thought they were both important. And then there's this, this is the one I don't visit as often, it's about what uh, Portland police have done so far. So you don't want to suggest something that they already are doing. Oops. What they do already. So you might want to, if you're going to write about uh, Portland, you don't have to. You can write about Santa Fe or New York City or anywhere in the U.S. It has to kind of be in the U.S. Um, 
So you're going to take, let's say that you look at the count and you don't find it that useful. You look at the Portland one, you don't really want to do Portland. And so you draw most of your research from this website. So you, what I would say is in your Google Doc, bring the quotes or the facts from here and then bring the pieces from these proposals that you want and start to create your proposal here. So let's say that uh, what I like, I like that there should be an intro. And then one of these mm, uses a language that I don't like. Um, but basically what they're talking about is why? Why is there a need for change? So you have to convince your reader that if they're going to spend money or if they're going to, you know, invest in more police training, that there's a reason why this happens. And even though this is one square, this could be two paragraphs. It kind of just depends. And then after you've convinced them, then that's where I want you to use some of this and to write your actual what is it that you're actually proposing. Uh, now, the biggest mistake that people make here is they just skate the surface of the proposal. So they'll say, it's, this is a classic statement. I've read it in like, you know, I don't know, one third of the, the assignments that you turn in. Um, in order to prevent police brutality, the police department needs more training. And I'm like, okay, so like how much, how's it going to happen? Are they, are you going to do it staggered over a course of a couple years? Is it, are all the police going to do it at once? If so, who's going to be on the streets? Who's going to pay for it? How much should it cost? What are you going to cover in this? You know, you need to give me more depth. So um, if I, that, just remind yourself. And when I look at your drafts, if I'm not seeing it, I'll remind you in depth where you break down a concept into its pieces. And so you might, so let's say over here you really like the idea of community policing. Well, you need to tell me what it is that you think is really, really important and how are you going to, so if you, if you pull police officers to, off their other duties to do community policing, then what's going to happen to these other duties over here? Are they not important? Do you think they don't need to be covered as much as they are? Are, you, are we going to do more hiring? You need to tell me. And then once you've gone through, there are two smallish parts. One is your conclusion. Doesn't need to be more than a few sentences. And then any um, sources that you cite from anywhere, you need to do your uh, citations at the very end to tell us where you got the information. So uh, I think that helps you understand how it is I want you to use the things in the module. Um, you can ignore things if you want. If the count isn't very useful, I have to say that some people use the counted information for the introduction to talk about how many people died, you know, who were mentally ill um, or who were disabled in some way. Maybe not, you know, mentally, but sometimes I like there was a recent case where someone was deaf and they didn't know the person was deaf and they shot them and because they didn't respond to orders and sort of things like that. Um, so you could use this research for this here or anywhere in your proposal. Okay. Is there anything else I want to tell you right now? Your Google Doc is your workspace. I don't care if you leave the quotes at the top of your Google Doc and then you write your working draft. It can all be in the same document. Okay? Okay, good luck. I look forward to reading them.